Okay, I want to address an issue that um, teachers who are uh, helping students 3D print stuff will often encounter, and this is a problem um, that uh, Christian Pramick of Autodesk and Tinkercad fame um, helped me find a solution to, and so um, I want to share this great, great solution with, with others. So basically, here's a shape. If I rotate the shape with, and my mouse is within the degree ring circle, I'm going by 22 and a half degrees. That gets me 45, that gets me 90, et cetera. It's really handy. But I, or especially my students, might unintentionally rotate by some weird number of degrees, right? And then, um, then they call me over and say, like, hey, I'm ready to 3D print this uh, lovely thing. I'm, I'm like, oh my goodness, but that's not really on the work plan. That's going to be tough to 3D print, but how many degrees do we rotate it back over by? Don't know. So um, instead of sort of you know uh, agonizing over that, here's here's a, a handy solution, uh, and that involves this work plane tool up here. So um, right now, obviously, this is the work plane, but this work plane tool allows us to define anything as the work plane. So I'm going to take this work plane tool and I drag it and I drop it on the face that I want to be the new work plane. So now this shape is sort of by definition on the work plane, although it's sort of under the work plane, right? If you look at the, the word here, you can see it's actually sort of underneath it, but still that's very handy because it's not, it, it's squarely underneath the work plane. So what I'm going to do is, so right in this world, that shape is squarely underneath the work plane. So I'm going to copy it from that world, and then by clicking on my work plane tool and dropping it off in white space, I'm going back to this world where the original shape is not on the work plane, and I'm going to paste the new one, and it comes in upside down because it thought, it, you know, this was the, 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 the work plane, um, the top face here. But what I can just do is I can go up to the um, mirror tool and say, yep, yeah, let's mirror that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mirror it in the uh, Z direction here. And now the, the copy is squarely on the work plane. I can get rid of this wacky one and my lovely round roof design that I want to 3D print is ready to go. Um, and it's squarely on the work plane.